Hey, welcome back. And if you're new, welcome. Brands of Chloe is all things personal finance, travel, and lifestyle vlogs. If that interests you, make sure you hit the subscribe button. In today's video, I'm applying for the American Express Gold credit card. So I'm applying for it, I'm unboxing it, and I'm going to do a full review with my take on it and like the pros and cons of the card. So if that interests you, be sure to stay for the whole video. Quick disclaimer, when applying for a credit card, make sure it fits your lifestyle. It is a good financial decision for you and make sure you always, always, always do your research. Okay, so I'm about to apply for this credit card. I was between a few different cards. I was thinking this gold card. I was thinking the Amex Platinum card. I was also debating between the Chase cards. I kind of was just trying to weigh out my options and see what card works best for me. Of the research I've done and like what I plan to use this card for, I decided to apply for the Amex Gold credit card. I did a whole other video on the two other credit cards I have. So if you haven't seen that video yet, make sure you check it out. It's super detailed. And I talk about the two credit cards I currently have, how I use them, and why I stop using debit cards. I'll link that video up on the screen too and put it in the description box. But that's another great video to watch along with this one. I have my laptop with me and we're just gonna go for it. So right now the Amex Gold card has a 75,000 membership rewards points sign on bonus when you spend $4,000 in the first six months. It comes in two colors, gold and rose gold. So I'll get into more details of the card in a little bit, but I'm just going to actually apply now. Ah. Get a decision in as little as 30 seconds. So it's a super simple application. You know, regular regular stuff. Okay, it's loading. Let's see their decision. You've been approved. New credit card alert. <laughs> I'm so impatient. I was hoping I wouldn't have to like pay extra to have it expedited, but it's coming soon, so that's perfect. Oh, it's giving me the option if I want to have the card number now instead of waiting. And I do because I have some things to buy. So I'm definitely happy that I got approved for the card. I was just setting up my account, signing up for alerts and that kind of stuff. I'm going to finish going through my account, finish setting things up. When I receive the physical card, I'll do an unboxing and I'll give you all the details on the card and my thoughts of it so far. So I'll see you in a few days. And we're back. Look what came in the mail. In this portion of the video, I'm going to do an unboxing of the card. I'm going to talk about the benefits, some pros and cons, and an initial review from me. It got here quickly. It says standard overnight on the packaging, but I guess since I got it on the weekend. So I applied on a Saturday and I received it on a Tuesday. So that's pretty quick. Let's get right into unboxing it. American Express, welcome to your new American Express gold card. It's heavy, jeez. This is a heavy card. Okay, so your new card has contactless technology, which allows you to tap and pay for quick and convenient purchases. So that's good. So I've already made a couple of purchases on the card because they gave me the number the other day when I applied. This just is some of the benefits. It's a nice card, I'm not gonna lie. It feels really nice. Let's review the general benefits of the card and the annual fee. So the annual fee is $250. You pay that every year. The sign-on bonus, the one I received and the one that is currently running, keep in mind this can change in the future. So the current sign-on bonus is 75,000 membership reward points. You get four points per dollar spent at restaurants, dine-in, takeout, delivery, four points per dollar spent at grocery stores, up to $25,000 a year, three points per dollar spent on booking flights. So that's booking directly with an airline or through the Amex travel portal. Then for everything else you spend, you get one point per dollar. Some additional benefits, if you're a fan of Uber Eats, you get a 12 month complimentary Uber Eats pass. You get $10 per month statement credit back if you spend with Uber, either like the ride sharing part or Uber Eats, that's up to $120 a year and it's broken down $10 per month. You also get $10 per month dining credit up to $120 a year. Again, 
only the $10 per month, nothing rolls over. There's no foreign transaction fees for this card. Also, some things I haven't seen other people mention. So Amex has different type of rewards and these are really for like shopping. This is only beneficial if you already shop at these places. I typically never go out of my way to get these types of credit card deals if I'm not already shopping there. But for me, some of the ones that stuck out that I know I'll probably use. There was a Marriott statement credit option through the Amex offers. An HBO Max one, which I thought was really good because I was actually recently looking for an HBO Max deal. So that one is going to be $25 statement credit on an annual subscription of at least $99 per year. And then there's a Zenny deal. So you guys know I did a Zenny optical review video on my channel already when I talked about the two different glasses I got. And I am planning on getting prescription sunglasses from Zenny. So this is perfect because now they have a $10 statement credit offer with the Amex offers. So those are some of the offers that stood out to me. So let's talk about this sign up bonus. So it's 75,000 membership reward points. There are a lot of different ways that you could redeem the points or spend them. But of course we try to maximize things here. So I want to get the most out of my points. So from my research and the things I've seen online, the best way I've seen to do that is to transfer your points out of Amex portal and transfer them to their airline partners. There's a bunch of different airlines and I'll list them on the screen. The two that stand out to me the most are JetBlue and Delta. So unfortunately American Airlines isn't one of them and I always fly JetBlue or American, but Delta is still a great option, so I'll probably use that as well. So for converting the points, if you were to book your flight through the Amex portal, the 75,000 membership reward points translates to $750. But according to NerdWallet, if you were to do a transfer, it's worth about two cents per point, which would come out to be around $1,500. I'm trying to travel some more, so this is perfect because I'm not going to be paying for a flight for quite some time. For the last portion of this video, I'm going to talk about some of the pros and cons and my initial thoughts of the card. We'll start with the cons, that way we could end on a positive note. So some of these cons I haven't seen other people talk about, so I think it's important to listen to them. I mean, they're not deal breakers for me, but it's definitely good to know if you're doing your research. So for me, one of them is when using the mobile app for the credit card, they don't have a quick view feature. So for quick view, this is to see your balance without having to actually log into the app and like do all this extra typing. It's just something that I've found to be convenient and this app doesn't have it. So you do have to log in to see just your balance. It's an extra step, but that is kind of a con for me. The next con would be American Express is not accepted everywhere. I do have an international trip coming up, which I will be vlogging. I started trying to book some of the excursions and activities for that trip. They have noted that they don't accept American Express. So that is something to also be aware of. Of course, the annual fee is a con. No matter what, even though, especially for the first year, the annual fee it pays for itself anyway. Just always have to be sure that I'm getting the most out of the card and that the annual fee is paying for itself because it is a higher annual fee and nobody wants to pay that unless you're actually reaping the benefit. Always keep that in mind as well. Another thing, so I had called the customer service because I had a couple of questions. One of the things I thought was interesting is there's no way for you to leave a travel note on the card yourself. You actually have to call customer service and do that. Um, I thought that was interesting because again, my two other credit cards, you could just go in the app and put the travel note in and you're all set. And then I believe you have to call them to take it off because he didn't take any dates or location or anything. So I thought that was a little weird. Overall, I think the American Express app is okay. Nothing spectacular, but nothing also too crazy. So those are the cons I have for the card. Now let's talk about some of the pros. Pros I would say are all the valuable perks you get for it. Just starting off the sign up bonus is huge for me. I think another pro for me would be that this really complements the other travel credit card that I have. So with the two of them, I really know that I can maximize my benefits and really get great deals for travel. This card is honestly great for people who love to buy food or just you spend a lot on groceries. I'm constantly buying food, but this one is going to be great because you can get the four points back per dollar. For groceries, that's US supermarkets and food purchases. So I think that's a great option for that. And last thing, I don't know if I should put this in like a pro or a con, but the no spending limit. So you know when you apply for most credit cards, you get a spending limit. And this one actually, like you don't get one. So I wasn't sure when I first received it, if it was just me personally, like with my credentials, if they didn't provide me with a spending limit, but when I call to confirm, that's how it is for all of the gold cards. I'm not sure if their other cards are like that too, but specifically the gold one. I don't know how to feel about it. I kind of would like to know what the credit limit is. Also just because I always keep 
my utilization rate low. So this pretty much wraps up the Amex Gold Card video. I clearly have some spending to do so I can get my sign up bonus because you do have to spend the $4,000 within the first six months. Be sure to subscribe. I have other personal finance videos on my channel. I have another video that details the two other credit cards that I have. I plan to do another video in the future regarding the membership reward points and how I'm using them. So be on the lookout for that. Let me know if you found this video helpful or informative. It was fun to do this video in a couple of different parts. I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you at my next video.